Hello YouTube. In this video, I'll be answering 10 frequently asked questions. Question number one. How many frames per second? My old videos were filmed at 10 frames per second, while the new ones are done at 15. Basically, this means that for every one second of video, I need 15 pictures. Question number two. What kind of camera do you use? Although I've used more cameras, there are three main ones I'd like to show you. The first camera I started using is a Canon PowerShot A400. This was just a simple point and shoot camera. The next camera is a Canon PowerShot A520. This camera was a big improvement because I could tether it to a computer and also I could take off this ring and put on different lenses. These lenses were really helpful with close up shots. The last camera I have here is my current camera, a Canon T3. This camera is a lot more advanced than the other ones and has many features like its own manual lens. Question number three. What programs do you use? In my video production, I use two main programs. The first one is called EOS Utility and comes with Canon brand cameras. It basically allows my computer to take over my camera so that I don't have to press any camera buttons to take pictures. I can see what I'm doing on the computer and all I have to do is click to take a picture. The other program I use is called Sony Vegas. This program is very powerful and allows me to add sound effects among other things. Question number four. How do you keep your camera still? In stop motion videos, it's very important to use a tripod. I also have my camera plugged into the wall and plugged into my computer. This way I don't have to press any buttons on the camera and I'll never run out of power. Question number five. How do I reduce light flicker? Light flicker is very common in stop motion videos. It's caused from variations in light as well as shadows and reflections from the animator. Here I used little pieces of cardboard to make a barrier to hide behind. This way all of my shadows and reflections are contained. I just have to reach over and animate. Question number six. Where do you get your sound effects? Although I don't really have one source for my sound effects, I have a big folder on my computer that I use for most of my videos. If I need something specific, I go online and start with a Google search. If it's an odd sound or a voice, I just record it myself. Question number seven. How do you make objects fly? Making an object fly in stop motion can be a difficult process. I use a technique that's called masking. To use masking, you need two pictures, one with the full scenery and one with the blank background. I layer the pictures together so that all I have to do is make a hole in the top picture, like cut out the support, and expose the blank layer beneath it. This process needs to be done for every single picture. It can be quite complicated, so look up tutorials on masking for more help. Question number eight. How many Lego or Legos do you have? Grammar aside, I've accumulated a lot of Legos over the years. I started getting sets as a kid, and I pretty much never outgrew them. I never have them all in one place, but I have many of them organized by color, shape, and function. Question nine. How long does it take to make a video? A four to five minute video takes thousands of pictures to create. I don't really do a good job of keeping track of time, but for Lego Pizza Delivery 5, I took over 30 hours to take the pictures, probably another 10 hours to build the sets, and at least another 10 hours to do the computer editing. The computer editing involves sound effects, masking, which I've discussed earlier, as well as voices and everything else. Question 10. How do I get more views? I don't really have a good answer for this question other than just make videos. I made videos that I enjoyed and then other people found them. It's not me that watches all of my videos, it's fans and viewers like you that make it possible. Thanks for watching and thank you for your continued support.